When we say yes to everything, we spread ourselves so thin. And so if you're a yes man, you're gonna feel energetically really tired. Um, you're gonna feel like you cannot accomplish anything. And the thing is that at the end of the day, if you haven't accomplished what you've actually said you were going to do, and like you're not integral with your words, your ego is gonna diminish. And then when you feel like and your ego is diminishing, you say yes to more things to gain love and respect from all the people you're saying yes to. So you actually keep filling your space up with more and more and more, and it's a vicious, vicious cycle. So this is a tip how to break free of that. So in this moment, don't say yes to anything until you actually clear out uh, your energetic real estate. So by that I mean is, if you say yes to say 10 things and they, they, they can just be little things, but until you've actually accomplished them, they are taking up energetic real estate in your subconscious. So I invite you to write down a list of 10 things that you've said yes to do to maybe your partner's asked you to hang a, a door handle. You've said to your subconsciously you want to clean the garden shed. You want to mow the lawns. You uh, have money that's owing to you and you owe someone money. It may not be much, but it's just a little bit of energy that you haven't cleared up. You know that you need to send an email. There's a hundred emails in your inbox. You need to text that person. So they're not massive things, but they're just these little things that we say yes to. Though, if we're not continually being impeccable with our integrity, they're gonna take up conscious space. And when they do that, we feel like shit. So, make a list. And there's 10, the 10, the top 10. Go and knock them out, just like a checklist, bang, 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 bang. But Blaze, I've said yes to something that I don't really wanna do anymore. So this is where your leadership comes in. And so um, pivoting and actually having a conversation, hey Amanda, how are you? Um, you're more than welcome. Having a conversation with somebody and actually saying, hey, that thing I said yes to two weeks ago, I can't actually achieve that anymore and I don't want to do that. And so just set a healthy boundary and retract your yes. Claim back your power and just say say no to that. Um, that, that has been super uh, challenging as I move through that people pleaser trait um, because I was a yes man and if I said no, I felt like I was disappointing people, and if I disappointed people, that they wouldn't love me. But that just came from some deep childhood wounds, and I'm here to tell you as a grown man that people will respect you way more if you say no, because when you actually do say yes, they know you're there wholeheartedly and like full, full you're playing full out. And so get those 10 and knock them all out. Um, Clean up any energy that you don't want to do. This is called a pivot in your leadership is the most uh, valuable leadership quality you can have is actually pivot and say, hey, I did say yes to that, but it's a no right now. And it's a no and I don't want to do that. And just close off that energy. After you knock out those 10, watch what happens just in your energetic body and your field and your vortex. You are actually, you're gonna feel a lot more happier within yourself. You're not gonna feel uh, overwhelmed because there's gonna be all of this stuff free in your subconscious. And you're actually gonna feel like, oh man, I have so much more energy to do the things what you want to do or you desire. So now this comes the question, is then stop being a yes man, which is a yes to everybody, and start being an alignment man, an alignment. And so by this I mean, if you know what your values are, that's where your first alignment is, is like, is this in alignment with my values? And then secondly is your vision. So knowing where you're going. So you're heading west. It doesn't have to be the knowing exactly how to get there, but you know you're heading in that direction. So you have a vision. And when things come up into your life, is this in alignment with your vision and values? Yes, 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 bang, I'm gonna say yes to that. And that way you're only doing the things that are moving you forward in that uh, direction that you wanna go in life, and you're not gonna feel the overwhelming pressure. An example of this, as I started to get a little bit more, um, for the better on word, renowned with my men's work, I had a lot of people reach out and asking me to do charity events and support. And one of the things that I love doing is painting murals. And I had uh, uh, some people reach out and ask me to, to paint a painting, a, a big mural, but it was to support um, a women's movement. 
And it, at that time, it wasn't aligned with the men's work and the vision that I had. So I actually said no. And it was met with a bit of a yuckiness and a bit of heaviness. Um, and all of that stuff came up like, oh, was I, should I have done that? No, no. But what it actually was, it was like that was, um, it was their stuff because I actually said no to what I actually desired. And me saying no to that actually opened up a lot of space in my men's work arena. Um, and so just know that um, when you do say no, it is creating those next opportunities for the thing that is in your vortex that wants to happen. If we have so much um, stuff cluttered in our subconscious, the universe can't come and work through us. We're gonna miss on all of the signs and all of that magnetizing energy that's coming towards us because we literally do not have the capacity to see it or be aware of it. Uh, so yeah, this is an invitation. Stop in the Yes Man, um, have some beautiful time with the family and say yes to the things that you actually desire. Um, I, uh, one of the last things I just said recently, just said no to was, um, if you don't know, uh, here locally on the Sunshine Coast, uh, I created the CMB chapter, which is Conscious Man Brotherhood. And we uh, developed that to over 500 men in a very short amount of time, a couple of years. Just local men here, and was running a lot of men's circles and free meetups, and it was all, all uh, uh, just volunteered with our time. Uh, and it got to a point when Little Ocean um, was about to be born, that I was just feeling all this pressure and overwhelm. We were about to, like, we're in the process of building a house, we we're about to move into a rental, we're having a baby, and I was feeling all of that pressure, like my subconscious, I just felt the weight of the world on, on my shoulders. I was chatting to my psychologist and we started looking into what I needed to let go of, and it, my, my heart had wanted to shift away from a CMB for about eight months, but I just didn't give myself that permission to actually say no, because it was a baby that I created. And so this was a huge pivot in my leadership to be able to let that go. And after I said, okay, cool, I'm gonna let that go, I bawled my eyes out. But in that space when I, when I bawled my eyes out, the, the tears was it created energetic real estate in my mind and it freed up and the very first thing I said I wanted to do was go running with my boys. That's what I was in tears about because for the past two years, I hadn't had the energy to go and do that. And it was so crazy because all I did was have the conscious thought to say no to that thing. I hadn't even done it. I hadn't even gone and actually collapsed, not I like put it to the leadership team or anything. If you had a conscious thought to let it go, bang, the subconscious stopped like being at, like in that and plugged into that cord and it just freed up the space. Those two little munchkins there, look at them. Just freed up the space for me to have some um, time with that and take them for a run on a pram. And so this is that invitation again. Only say yes to what's in alignment with your values and your vision. And if you don't know that, hit me up because I can definitely support you with that. It's my jam. Um, Monday Motivation, I'm gonna go kick it with my family. Um, and yeah, nice to tune in. Peace.